what I wish I knew about starting a YouTube channel a year and a half ago. Let's jump into it. Hey Dreamer, I'm Brittany. Thanks for being here. If you're new, welcome. Today, I'm about a year and a half into my YouTube journey. And this obviously is not a how-to video. I am definitely not a YouTube guru. I'm sitting here at 349 subs as of filming this. And I'm happy to have every single one of my little family. But that number by no means indicates that I know what I'm doing on this platform. This is just some things that I've learned along the way. And I thought that I might share them with you. So the first one I'd like to talk about is how difficult it is to connect with people. I started this channel pretty naive. I really thought that I would just post videos that I loved and my audience would just come either the next day or by day 100 or 300 or 500 that I would have a whole bunch of besties on here that like to hang out in the comments and we bonded over like-minded things and they feel like they know me and I know them a little bit and that is much easier said than done. For one thing, people are busy. They don't have time to get to know you. It's actually not that easy to connect with somebody through a camera. I would say in real life, I'm a fairly average person and that translates on camera to be incredibly dull. And so for you to feel just a fraction of my energy, towards you, I need to be at my most vibrant best self. I also haven't niched down as hard as many of the gurus tell you to, and I still kind of refuse to. I'm actually thinking about starting another channel that has a different set of interests of mine just because I don't want to bog down the viewers of this channel with everything that I'm interested in. The second is just how amazing it is whenever you do connect with people. Finding an online community is so amazing. It's really beautiful to connect with people with similar interests people that potentially are traveling to the same places that I am, people who have different insights into things that I've done or said or thought. It really opens you up to a wider viewpoint of the world. It makes you question the things that you think and it makes you more concrete in the things that you believe in. When I get those comments where I helped somebody or they liked my video, they enjoyed it and shared it with somebody else, it gives you such the warm fuzzies inside. It's really the best feeling. Number three is actually the opposite of that. I have wavered in my confidence throughout my life. Sometimes I'm really confident, sometimes I'm not. The internet will make you question everything. It doesn't matter how confident you are in yourself, someone out there will find the flaw that you personally feel is the most undesirable and they will pick at it until they think they have the best of you. And so I feel like if you're starting a channel, you really need to develop a thick skin. You need to have an inner self-confidence that doesn't derive from your subscriber count or the outside world. You really have to internalize your sense of self to be able to compete with that. You need to hold true to who you are. Stop trying to be other people. They're already out there doing their own thing. They don't need you to try to be them too. You're perfectly enough just being yourself. I know that I'm not everyone's cup of tea. Everyone has different personalities and different preferences for who they like best and that's okay. All right, this next one I have a lot of thoughts. 
Wow, do I have a lot of thoughts. They all stem from how hard doing YouTube has been and being successful on here, meaning getting engagement, growing an audience, really connecting with people, growing a brand, all of that has been so much harder than I ever imagined. I've grown several companies. I've done startups in different industries that have been successful that I knew nothing about going in there and have built numerous businesses from the ground up with no prior knowledge, with no real foot in the door, and just with a lot of hard work and learning. YouTube will make you question all of that. It will make you feel like the most complete novice. I've been shocked more times than I can count on all the things I don't know about YouTube. The list of things that you can learn is ever changing, it's ever growing, and it can get pretty overwhelming. I also don't feel like this is an industry that you can just white knuckle your way like through it. Like some industries you can just beat on the door hard enough that the opportunities will open up to you. YouTube's not that. <laughs> it is definitely a finesse the skeleton key in the door and hope that it comes open with, before the key breaks in the lock. Like it is incredibly difficult. And sometimes it's rewarding and sometimes it's not. You can put in a ton of hours into something that you feel is amazing until the algorithm just crushes it and tells you that it is complete garbage and doesn't stack up. And then there's nothing else to do but to film and make another video and try to get 1% better. Whenever you feel like giving up at those moments, I like to think of it as you're growing a much needed skill set. You're learning to talk to a camera, you're learning to edit videos, you're gaining confidence out in the world if you're filming out there. Not to mention all of the soft skills around filming also. It's really a much needed skill set to learn and I don't think you're wasting your time by learning it. Education is one of the most valuable things that you can really invest your time and energy in. So if you're out there and you've started a channel or you have a small channel and you're struggling, just know that this entrepreneur is too. Out of all the businesses that I've started, YouTube is by far the hardest. I thought we would end on a positive note though. And this one is particularly unexpected. That is how amazing it is to have your life documented on film. I underestimated this completely. I didn't even think twice about it whenever I started a channel. I was like, sure, I guess. I go on trips a lot. I travel. I guess I'll film it. I was like, yeah, I can do that. That's going to be cool. It is so fun to look back even a year ago at some of the trips that we took. I started this channel whenever we went to Scotland and stayed for a month. And just looking back at those vlogs sometimes makes me smile. And that was only a year ago. Imagine 10 years from now, it's going to be so fun to look back and see all of those experiences documented. I really recommend everyone bring a camera on vacation and just take some like mini clips. It's really fun to look back at it in the future. That's my thoughts for today though. If you're starting a channel, then good luck. I hope this gave you a little bit of insight. Feel free to leave your name of your channel down below and I will be sure to check it out. I'll be having some London vlogs coming out shortly. So be sure to subscribe for that. Until next time, dreamer. Bye.